Assalamu alaikum. The article of this week is titled The Effect of Eddy and Manual Dynamic Activation Techniques on Post Operative Pain in Non Surgical Retreatment. It's a randomized controlled trial which was conducted by a Turkish group, Yusuf Oglu, and others, and it was published in BMC Oral Health in 2023. The night eye systems are safe, effective, and less time consuming for get aperture removal during non surgical retreatment. However, no preparation system can completely remove geta percha and sealers from the canal walls. Thus, ultrasonic and sonic activation systems with various methods have been developed to more effectively remove geta percha and canal sealers from root canals. The goal of these systems are to strengthen canal disinfection to increase the penetration of the solution into the apical delta and lateral canals and to reduce the resistant bacterial strains that present difficulties for disinfecting the dentinal tubules. We have the manual dynamic technique, which enhances debridement by improving the contact between the irrigation agent and the root canal walls. And on the other hand, there is EDI, which is an activation technique with a sonic system that provides three-dimensional movement of the tip with the cavitation and acoustic streaming movement like that of ultrasonic devices. And these activation methods and preparation techniques have been found to cause inflammation in the periapical tissue. Thus, the aim of this study was to evaluate uh, the effect of eddy and manual dynamic activation uh, techniques on post-operative pain associated with retreatment. 145 patients were assessed for eligibility and 155 were excluded for not meeting the inclusion criteria, which are healthy individuals with previously treated single-rooted mandibular premolars, teeth with obturation of 2 to 4 mm short of the apex, with periapical radiolucency of BAI 3 and 4, and teeth on which primary treatment had been performed in the researcher's hospital. And then they were allocated uh, randomly and the randomization protocol was implemented on a randomizer website. And then 45 patients received uh, MDA intervention and the other 45 received EDI. The clinician performed the non-surgical retreatment on each of the 90 teeth during a single visit. A 2.5 sodium hypochlorite irrigation solution was used. For the first group whom received the manual dynamic activation, 2.5 sodium hypochlorite was performed after shaping using a Protaper Universal F3 get aperture. And for the second group who received eddy, 2.5 sodium hypochlorite was administered to the canal following three 20 second activation non activation cycles. Uh, all, all, te uh, all teeth were obturated uh, using a single cone technique with AH plus sealer. Then the patients were uh, given a 10-point numerical rating scale, and they were asked to rate the, uh, where the, they were asked to rate their post-treatment pain by telephone after 12, 24, 48, and 72 hours. The antibiotics and analgesics usage were uh, questioned as well, and then one week later they were followed up in the clinic and tested the palpation and percussion sensitivity. And for the pain score, uh, they were placed into the following four categories. 0 equals none, 1 to 3 equals mild pain, 4 to 6 equals moderate, and 7 to 10 equals severe pain. So moving to the distribution of post-operative pain between the groups and within uh, the groups by time period, the incidence of moderate post-operative pain at 12 hours was significantly higher in the second group than in the first group, 38%. And the incidence rate of mild pain at the 24 hours uh, was the highest in the second group as well, 38%. And the incidence of mild pain at 48 hours was 29% in the second group. And at 72 hours, the incidence of mild pain was 22% in the second group as well, whereas the mild pain was not reported in the first group. So, to conclude, uh, less incidence of post-operative pain was uh, reported with manual dynamic activation group. However, there is no significant difference at the level of one week following the non-surgical root canal retreatment.